this is just going to be a quick power supply test of a number of different power supplies. I'm going to start with the oldest here. These are the details. This does not have a Pentium 4 CPU connector. And hopefully this will show up on the camera and not be too bright. Um, I'm also going to connect a hard drive so that there is some load on the power supply. So um, there's no switch on this, so we're just going to plug this in. This 12 volt, minus 12 is very low. This is also very low. It's not looking great, um, but it does work. On to the next one, I guess. This is an Mpower LCB 300 ATX. Beminet. Um, let's try this one. This does have the um, CPU power connector, so we'll connect that up. And then we'll connect up the drive. no switch on the back so let's just plug this in this is very light um, feels like there's very little in there we've got a 3.3 volt that's HH I'm guessing that's too high yeah, it went up to 4.0 volts, which is way too high. So that's not good either. On to the next one. This is a Tsunami or Tsunomi KY350ATX. And we've got the date of 2004 on this one. This one's got 20 pin and also the CPU connector. Let's connect up the hard drive. This doesn't have a switch. And we've got 5 volts standby, says it's low, 3.4, 12, 5.1, so this standby, 5 volt standby, seems to be a problem with that on this one. This is the EaseCool 450 watt power supply from uh, one of the other videos. Um, and I know that it's got about 3.3 volt, but I thought I'd just try it again on uh, this video just to double check what's going on and if it's we still get the problem with um, this drive. This has got a range of connections including this, um, but it's a 20 pin power supply uh, and does have a CPU connector. I'll um, 
switch this on. This one also has some uh, bad fans. And we've got a 3.3 volt that is too high. Let's switch this off. So I should probably test a working power supply just so that we know what a working power supply looks like. Um, so I'll just grab one now. So this is a small FSP. Um, I'll put the model numbers in the description. This is an 80 plus bronze. And has a full 24 pin connection. Um, we'll switch this on now. And we've got a stable 3.3 volts, got a stable 11.9 across all of these, gone up to 12, got a 5.1 and a 4.9. This is much, doing much better than these other power supplies. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Nothing really dramatic. Just wanted to check these and show you what happens when you've got a power supply that's not working to spec. And I'll show you inside one of these to see if we can see anything. This is inside the Tsunami Tsunami power supply, 350 watt. And this capacitor here, that is in the middle uh, is uh, clearly bulging. It might have also bulged at the bottom, which has meant that it's sort of at this funny angle. So this um, is definitely a power supply with a problem. Um, we can see that this is a problem here and perhaps this one as well could be another uh, problem capacitor. Um, but yeah, this is from 2004, which is, you know, when all the bad capacitors were around. So yeah, this is a not a healthy power supply and one that just shouldn't be used, basically. Thanks for watching. Bye.